Victor, you guys have done a great job in five on five last few games. Maybe starting the second period game two. Just where do you see the switch or where do you see the difference in what you've been doing? Oh, yes, consistency. Uh, you know, obviously staying out of the box really helps. And, uh, you know, we like, we've liked our game five on five all playoffs. And if you can keep it like that, we like our chances. So, uh, but it's more about, you know, executing what we're doing. Um, I think the first two games were all in agreement that we didn't execute. Uh, a little slop with the puck, and um, that's been a lot better. So that usually leads to uh, you know less turnovers and uh, obviously less chances against. So we keep doing that. Uh, you know we're in good shape. Eddie, home ice has been such a huge factor in this series. Just how do you carry on what you've done? And I know you kind of straightened some things out in the second game there at MSG. Um, do you, how do you carry the momentum forward? No, we, we've been in that situation before, uh, you know, having to win on the road. And we've proven in previous series and in previous years that we can win on the road. So uh, take that experience with us. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we're obviously faced with the fact that we've got to win one game up there. And so, uh, you know, for us, we uh, just got to go out and keep building what we, we did at home. Um, you know, it's the same, same ice surface. Obviously, the crowd is going to be against us this time. But... Uh, you know, that's the fun games, too. Uh, you know, you want to go there and obviously try and win the game uh, tomorrow. But it uh, all comes down to, to our details and in what we're doing. So uh, trying to shut out the, the outside noise and just focus on what we can do. And that's, uh, you know, playing good hockey. Victor, do you feel like you guys are in a better position to go up there and win a road game than you were maybe going up for one and two because you're back in your rhythm of playing again and playing the way you, you, you know you, know, you kind of need to play? Yeah, it's easy to say now, obviously, uh, we lost the first two. So uh, and now we're coming off, you know, two straight wins. So, uh, you know, we got some more momentum and, you know, we got some games under our belt. But uh, we can't just rely on that. We just got to go out there and execute. That's the bottom line. And, you know, we don't look at it uh, any other way. You know, the last, uh, you know, the first four games in the in the rearview mirror. Now we just going to look forward and uh, you know, it's the best out of three. And we've got to go out there and win a game. Everybody wants home ice in, in the playoffs, but their, their record at home is pretty stark, the difference between that and the road. Is there something unique about that arena, the, either the feel, the fans, the, the look, anything about it that makes it a little more challenging to play in? Well, it's called the most famous arena in the world for a reason, I think. And that goes step back to history and, you know, their fan base uh, obviously very, very big and it's a loud building. But um, it's a lot of fun too, and uh, you know, I remember back in 2015 we had to go up there and win a game, and it was Game Seven back then. But you know, it's it's a great place to play, and it's a, it's a lot of fun, and it's it amps you up just yes, knowing you're going to play in that building. So uh, you know, we just got to use that as motivation for ourselves. But you know, we're in the conference finals, and our sole focus is on trying to win the next game. And, you know, it doesn't matter where we play, we're playing on a pond or outside or in MSG, we want to win the game. So, um, you know, we just got to go out there and, uh, and uh, play our best game of the series. You had played with uh, Chernak for a good part of the first part of the playoffs here and back with Buda the last couple. And how much has that been helpful to just familiarity with a guy you played with the last number of years? And how have you felt about your game personally the last couple? Oh, a lot better. Uh, like the rest of the team, probably. So, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter who you play with. But, uh, you know, me and Roots, we've had good chemistry for, for a number of years. and But uh, it was fun to play with Cherney as well. And, you know, probably, you know, with the shutdown role that, that Cherney plays, uh, you know, him and Mac has done a great job in these past two games. And, you know, we rely on them heavily, especially, I guess, uh, you know, Savannah Jets line. And, you know, we'll wait and see their lineup tomorrow. We know there was a, you know, a couple of guys that didn't play last game or a guy that got hurt mid-game. So we'll see whatever team they throw out there. But, uh, you know, we're not going to have last change, obviously, going up there. So it's going to be a little bit different of a matchup. But, you know, we're, we're confident whoever's on the ice. And, uh, but uh, having that familiar, you know, playing with Roots, obviously, is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a walk in the park. We, we know where we have each other. And, we know our strengths, and uh, we know how to read off uh, one another. So we just got to keep that going tomorrow. Your coach mentioned last night that uh, Vasi has his his mojo back. Do you guys see that too when you're in the game, or did you think you ever lost it? Or no, I don't think I ever lost it. So I think uh, sometimes we rely a little bit too much on him. Um, 
you know, you look at the first two games, it was a lot of east-west on and off the stick. It's tough to save those pucks, so, um, you know, Vass is a competitor, but uh, he's the best goal in the, in the world for a reason. So um, we knew he was going to bounce back like the rest of the team, and he sure did in these two games. So uh, obviously helps tremendously with our confidence when we know we have him back there.